to the Southern New Hampshire Week in Review, where we recap the previous week's events in Penman Athletics. Women's tennis opened up the week with a 5-4 win over Stonehill College to extend its winning streak to 10 games. The victory over the Skyhawks also locked up the number two seed in the Northeast 10 tournament for Southern New Hampshire. Women's tennis returns on Friday when the Penman will host an NE10 tournament semifinal. Taking a look at field hockey now, Southern New Hampshire dropped a pair of home games this week against Franklin Pierce University and number 10 St. Michael's College. The Penmen are back in action tomorrow when they welcome Adelphi University to Larkin Field for a Northeast 10 clash with the Panthers at 6 o'clock. Volleyball suffered a pair of losses to begin the week against Bentley University and Southern Connecticut State University before sweeping American International College. With their win over AIC, the Penmen have matched their win total from last season with 12, which is also their most victories in a season since the 2006 campaign. Southern New Hampshire will remain idle until Friday when it hosts Pace University at 7 o'clock. Switching gears over to women's soccer, the Penman fell in their two games this week, both of which were on the road against St. Michael's and Pace. Southern New Hampshire will look to rebound tomorrow when it makes the crosstown trip to St. Anselm College for a Queen City Cup showdown with the Hawks at 3 o'clock. The top-ranked men's soccer team put together another unbeaten week with a pair of wins against St. Michael's and Assumption College. Senior Kenny Dublet netted a hat-trick and a 6-0 win over the Purple Knights before six different goal scorers helped the Penman throttle the Greyhounds by a final score of 8-1. Men's soccer resumes play on Wednesday when it makes the trip to Bentley University for an afternoon tilt with the Falcons at 3 o'clock. Men's tennis wrapped up its fall schedule with a 9-0 win over Franklin Pierce. The Penman conclude the fall portion of their schedule with a 2-1 record overall and within the Northeast 10. The men's tennis spring schedule is set to be released this winter. Men's golf was the final Southern New Hampshire team in action this week as it traveled to Stony Point, New York for the East Coast Conference preview. Senior Jake Nutter continued his dominant start to the 2014 season with his fourth tournament victory in five outings, carding a two-day total of 145 after a 72 on day one and a 73 on day two. As a team, the Penman combined to shoot 619, which was good enough for second place. Southern New Hampshire closes out its fall schedule next Monday and Tuesday at the New England Intercollegiate Golf Association Championship in Brewster, Massachusetts. That's it for this week's Southern New Hampshire Week in Review. Check back next Monday for a full recap of this week's events in Penman Athletics.